everyone, welcome back to the Beautonomy YouTube channel. My name is Claudia and I'm going to be your host for today's video. So today's video I actually really really enjoyed recording and I hope that you enjoy watching. So I created this kind of go-to going out glam look and I actually used two Beautonomy palettes for this look. Um, they are both marble. <laughs> the first palette that I used is all of my face products that I used. By the way, look at this highlight. So, so good. So I use my little face palette and to do my eyeshadow, I used the, the kind of eye palette that I created, which I think just has the most gorgeous tones. Like how pretty is this palette? I just like, I don't really want to use anything else now that I've seen this palette. I don't want to put this down. Um, yeah, so I just created this little go-to look. I really, really enjoyed creating it. If you want to see how I created this look, um, eyes and face included, please stay tuned because I'll be showing you everything step by step and kind of explaining where like I put everything, so like product placement and how I blend things out and stuff. And it's just a lot of good fun. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this, please stay tuned. So I'm gonna start off with my base. I'm using my gorgeous little turquoise colored marble palette for this. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set my face. So the face powder that I have is in the shade medium. I'm just using a little fluffy brush just because I want to hit underneath my eyes, my forehead and my chin. So I don't need a brush that's too big for this. So I'm literally just gonna go underneath my eyes. And this will really kind of brighten as well. I really, really like this powder, especially for under the eyes. I just think it looks so nice. It leaves such a nice finish as well. And I find that none of my little creases and wrinkles come out underneath my eyes, which is great. Um, and I'm just gonna take another little bit and just pop it on my forehead. Really don't need too much. I do have a slightly matter foundation um, so I don't think I need to set too much, just, just a little bit. So next up to bronze, I'm going to go into the shade Paradise, which is this one here. Um, this I think will complement my skin tone so, so nicely. Um, I'm just going to start dipping in with a little kind of angled brush. So I'm just going to dip into this a little bit. You really don't need much, um, because these are very, very pigmented. So I'm just going to start hitting this um, where the kind of top of my ear is. I'm going to start patting this into the skin. And I'm going to take this down towards my nose as well. And I'm just going to ever so slightly start to kind of build this up as well. Doing the other side. So you really, really don't need much of this product, which is great because the pans are quite big. So I feel like this will last you for ages. Going into the forehead now as well. So I don't want to put too much product on. I am literally just going to put like a light sweep just across the perimeter of my forehead. And to contour my nose, I have a little hack. So I'm gonna take this bronzer and the side of my little angled brush and I'm gonna take this just down the side of my nose, like so. And this will add just a tiny touch of color Nothing too crazy because I don't think um like a crazy nose contour works for my nose very, very well. But literally just a little line down the nose and I'm going to repeat obviously on the other side as well. There we go. That is me all bronzed up. I actually really, really love the shade of this. I think it goes with my skin tone so, so well. And I can see this really matching a lot of people. It blended so, so nice as well. So let's go on to my favorite step, which is blush. I love blush so much. So the blush that I've got in this palette is called Corinne. So it is this one here, just in the corner. Um, I'm just going to pick this up on a little blush brush. And I think this is going to look really, really cute on. So I'm just tapping this on more kind of above my bronzer rather than in the center of my face. So I'm just taking this kind of outwards. Okay, this is actually a really gorgeous shade. I am loving how this is looking on my skin. And of course, I'm also going to put a little bit on just the tip of my nose as well. So that is my powder, bronzer and blush complete. It is now time for highlight. So this highlight here is called Cream. 
I'm just taking this on a little fluffy kind of highlighter brush. I'm actually so excited to see how this is going to look on. I think it's going to look amazing. This is so pretty. And just like that, I have the perfect base. I mean, this is just, you know, gleaming, blushed, bronze. I absolutely love it so, so much. And I'm so excited to get onto the eyes now. So the first shade I'm gonna take out of this gorgeous palette is called Mink. It is this one here, just down at the very edge. I'm just taking this on a little kind of rounded, fluffy brush. I'm just going to pick some of this up on the brush and I'm gonna start packing this just into the crease. So picking this shade up and literally just packing this into the crease in quite a rounded shape so i'm just taking this the whole way around to the kind of edge of my eye and repeating the same on the other side packing this into the crease of my eye and i'm just taking this the whole way around you can see here i've took this the whole way around in kind of like a semicircle shape so just doing the same on the other eye so to blend this out i'm gonna go into a slightly fluffier brush and I'm just going to go into the shade Spice, which is a really, really gorgeous transition shade. I'm just going to pick this up on the brush and I'm going to start going over the edge of that mink shade. So I'm literally just going over the edge of this and I'm starting to buff this out and just blend it out more and more until it's fully blended. So once that is all nice and blended, you want to start working on your under eye section. So first shade I'm going to go in with again is the shade Mink, just on the same little kind of small fluffy brush that I used at first. So I'm just picking up this shade and I'm just going to start sweeping this underneath my eye. Once I have gotten this shade down, I'm going to start going in with Spice again, just on the slightly fluffier brush. I'm going to pick this up and with this shade, I'm going to start just blending out Mink. So now that that is all nice and blended out, we can start working on our shimmers. So I have two shimmers in this palette. I am actually going to use them both. I'm feeling a little adventurous today. I want to use a bit of this pinky purpley shade. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into the shade extra, which is this one here. I'm going to pick this up on my finger and this will be placed on the inner portion of my eye. And then the shade, I believe this is called either Fia or Faya. I'm gonna pick this up next and this will also go on my lid, but just slightly on the outer corner. So we will get both of these shades on the eyes. So gonna go into the shade extra first. Once I have this on my finger, I am just going to start placing this on. This is honestly like the most gorgeous shade I think I have ever seen in my entire life. It is a mixture of gold and it has like pink and pink reflex. And you can so see that, especially on the eye. So I'm literally just tapping this on and then without picking any more up, whatever I have left on the finger, I'm going to just slowly blend this upwards just so that it blends into your matte shadow, but there's no harsh line or anything like that. I mean, is that not just the most gorgeous shimmer shade you have ever seen in your entire life? Because this is blowing my mind. So I'm going to go into this next pink shade here. I'm doing the same technique, picking up a little bit just on my finger. I don't want too much of this. I literally just want a, like a subtle pop of pink. So I'm just going to start popping this pretty much where I stopped with the shade extra. So just a tiny little touch of colour. That is all that I'm doing. As you can see there, this is pretty much all the pink that I'm going to put on my eye. And I'm just going to repeat this on the other eye as well. So I'm just taking my little fluffy brush. I'm not putting any more product on it. I'm literally just using whatever it is already on this. And I'm just going to go over the edges of that pink shade and the matte blend just to really make sure that everything is really nicely blended in and repeating the same on the other side and I think now this is just the most gorgeous look if I do say so myself by the way <laughs> um I just really really like how this is turning out so I'm gonna pop on my lashes and my lipstick and I will be right back 
So we are almost done. I just wanted to come back and do my inner corner highlight. So I'm just taking a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the shade cream, which is just what I use for my face highlight. I'm gonna go into this and literally just pop it in my inner corners. And that now is the finished look. Honestly, it was such a joy to use these Butonomy shadows and face products to create this look. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. I think it's so, so cute. It's the perfect going out look. You know, a lot of us are kind of getting ready to start going out again and start seeing our friends. And I just feel like a look like this is so, so cute and it was so easy to do it was so simple all of these products the face products the eyeshadows everything that i used just blended out so so well it literally took me like two seconds to do all of this um yeah i had a really really fun time creating this look and if you've watched this far thank you so so much i really really hope that you've enjoyed this um as much as i did anyway um what i wanted to say as well was that you can obviously create your own little custom um, like cover for the palette. Mine's maybe isn't the most creative thing I've ever seen, but honestly, I have wanted something like marbly and gold for the longest time and I just seen this and I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna put that on my palette. So you can definitely go a bit more all out and a bit more extra if you wanted to. Um, I mean, you can put your face all over it, you can, you know, put your name on it, you can do whatever you want. Um, but I just thought that this was quite like sleek and cute. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention as well is with this palette, you obviously have room for more shades. You can either put more face powders in here or you can also put eyeshadows in here as well, um, which I just think is great for traveling. I mean, you could put practically your whole face in this palette. You can have your four um, face shades and then everything that you would need for eyeshadow, you can kind of stick in these blank spaces or you can get, say, like two more blushes or like a blush and a bronzer and then fill it up with shadows. Um, I think these are just so versatile. You can literally put anything that you want in these. Um, and yeah, I just really, really recommend it. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling now if you have watched this far. Thank you so, so much again. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.